Hapadai, welcome to Nihita Visita. Our program centers on those things that are important to us culturally and naturally. Through our weekly episodes, we will have a chance to revisit, to refresh the memory, and to reunite with the past. We start with antiquity, we traverse hills and valleys, and wade in rocks and shoals that have been hallowed by sad and happy events long, long ago. We walk footpaths used by our ancestors, contemplate at places where they once did, and visit lottie sites deep in the jungle, where they have remained undisturbed for at least a thousand years. We will have a glimpse of the abundance of our land as it must have been when our ancestors discovered it 3,500 years ago. We will trace the four remaining Spanish bridges that we found along the King's Highway from Umatic to Agania. We will revisit places that are distinctly identifiable with nations that claim, possess, and govern Guam and have left their indelible marks in the culture and landscape of our island. Because of our geographic location in the world, we find ourselves in between everything it would seem. We are referred to as being in the South Pacific in some books when we're actually 13 degrees north of the equator. We read that we're in the Western Pacific, but our longitude is 144 degrees east. And we're continually bewildered by our ability to leave Guam on a Tuesday night and arrive in Hawaii the morning of the same day. These contradictions extend to our perception of ourselves and of others. When we describe Guam, this is the perception we project. Guam is todo et mundo. On the other hand, when a professional bureaucrat talks about our island, this picture emerges. We are, of course, somewhere in between. Our first stop is a special place which both legend and logic tell us is hallowed ground. From this lofty perch, the high chiefs could visually survey the horizon for friend or foe approaching our shores. They could also enjoy the majesty of the seas from here, the ruggedness of the shoreline, and the ponderous cliffs just as we are awed by them today. They also had a commanding view of the beautiful bay below they call Tumhon. One could only imagine the chief looking at Tumon Bay today and saying to a friend, Gachong, those are rather strange looking lotties down there, Tumon. They're so tall and some of them look like pyramids. And tell me, why do they have windows? Gachong responds, Chief, they have windows because they are hotels with plenty of rooms. We have over one million natives of other islands visiting us every year and we have to have a place for them to stay. You have to remember, Chief, that you have not been up here for a few hundred years, and things have changed. It is called progress. I like that word progress, Gachong, but who is leading this progress procession? We are, answers Gachong. Our descendants are, Chief. The Chief smiles and says, I want you to get on the Alaiha this afternoon and I want you to pass the word up and down across the town and the word is make sure that when the procession moves we do not move so fast as to leave any of our chamorros as stragglers behind. I'm very happy that we're entering this century with our own people leading the way. Two Lovers Point, touching base with our past. It's a place to see, it's a place to be. See you next week. Este otro viaje, si bien blaso. Adiós.